Thank you. <laughs> well, they say the turkeys are starting to gobble here. I guess we'll see. Look, 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 look. And they got a big yellow milk barn, and this is a dairy farm, so I think this is the place. Turkey marks the spot. presents Scent Blocker Most Wanted. Brought to you by Bossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scent Blocker, close enough to kill. Browning, the best there is. Ford, and your quality Ford dealers. Tree Spider Safety System, light, easy, fast, safe. Hey, welcome to this week's Scent Blocker's Most Wanted. Hey, as you know by now, we all love big game. Whitetails, bears, moose, and my favorite, elk. We spend most of our time before, during, and after those seasons just preparing to hunt. But every spring there's a fever that spreads among the crew, you know what it is. And we all break out our slate calls, our shotguns, the camo, to chase those North American ostrich, the wild turkey. And I do mean our whole crew. Last year, a couple of our camera operators went out on their own to film themselves bow hunting for some of those North American ostrich. Here you go in the morning, baby. That was a turkey he would be flopping right now, so I think we're good. I've been worried all week. I've been coming out here listening, haven't heard birds gobble at all. Came in here yesterday morning, heard like five gobblers. <clears throat> so me and Josh snuck in here. Birds weren't nowhere where they were supposed to be. Actually, they were roosted up by the truck. And uh, so we're sitting here kind of worried how we're gonna do it. <sighs> Go out and take a look at it, man. Opening day here in Illinois. <laughs> 
You just don't get any better than that, I don't think, man. It's like a good two, two year old bird. Got about a nine inch beard, maybe 10. About inch spurs. Hey, I don't know if it's supposed to work like this every time, but uh, just what an awesome hunt. Everything was wrong this morning. We had everything set up wrong, but it turned out great. This segment of Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Matthew Solo Cam. Catch us if you can. Rage, the revolutionary rear deploying broadhead. You know, over the last couple of years, Tree Spider has revolutionized tree stand safety. But now, with Spider Web, they have changed tree stand safety forever. For the first time ever, you can answer the necessity of safety by simply slipping into spider web. No extra straps, buckles, noise, weight, or hassle. More than industry leading scent control, more than cutting edge safety, it's the ability to hunt the way you've always wanted. Spider web, this changes everything. Back in the spring of 2011, I got a call from my old buddy Mike Weinkoff at Field Logic and invited me to go bow hunting for turkeys on a dairy farm in South Dakota where he'd been going for years and he said there's a lot of turkeys there. Now when it comes to turkeys, I have all the respect in the world for the Easterns, but I'll jump at the chance for a hunt at Merriam's any day. This is perfect turkey hunting weather right here. You know, a big old Marion Tom could come strolling in here at any time just because it's raining. It ain't like the turkeys go in a cave. They're out here somewhere. You know, this morning we seen 10 bearded birds that went out through that way. So hopefully sometime today they come work up through here. This is their natural strutting and feeding area. Uh, they've been spreading manure right here from the milk cows and anytime you're around where they feed cattle or spread manure, turkeys love getting in that stuff and uh, we think that they'll work in here close enough to this blind to shoot one with a Matthews. But I sure am glad we were hunting out of a blind. Now this wasn't the best weather for turkey hunting. Certainly not the worst, but it wasn't good. This reminds me of a hunt a couple years back in Missouri. Me and Josh were set up on the edge of a field when the rain just came in from nowhere. Now we thought about packing up and saving the equipment, but then this old Tom came right in. Now this bird's radar is locked on. He knows exactly where he heard me call the last time. He actually comes in within 10 yards and stares at that spot. He does not see me. Now you're probably gonna wonder why this turkey wasn't shot way before now. Well, Josh and I, when I can see him very well at point blank range there, I'm set up behind some multi-floor rose bush that I kind of use to break myself up. I can't shoot him when Josh has him. And of course, when I can see him, he can't see him. Uh, that's part of the problems that you have when hunting with a camera. But I can guarantee you this, before this was over with, this turkey and us and our electronic equipment were getting really wet.
know, ideally, I would love to have this turkey out there where you could see him and see the pellets hit him and drop him right there. He's behind that limb. And to coin a phrase from Will Primos, this ain't Hollywood. It ain't like we can say, hey, re the turkey, bring him back. So it is what it is. But man, did we get wet. We got so wet that it took three hours and a hair dryer to get the camera dried out to where it would run again. So by the time it would work, the sunshine was back out.